looking for with you. I'm living my best life, yeah. Smile, smile, come on. Ain't going back and forth with you. I'm living my best life. Smile, come on. What's up y'all, it's your girl Dr. Nina and I am coming at y'all with something fresh and new. If you wanted to see some days in my healthy eating, my exercise regimen, and I'm hoping that this video gives you the pep in your step and also teaches you some things that you can do to maintain and also attain healthy fitness goals. All information on the things I mentioned today can be found down below in that good old information section. And while I have you, make sure you thumbs up this video if you like it, comment, share, and subscribe to this channel and also my vlog channel. Make sure that you come back on all Thursdays and some Sundays for video uploads. And also be sure to turn on that notification bell so you know when I upload. Y'all, I wanna thank Love With Food for collaborating with me on today's video. Over at least the past three years, I have featured them a number of times in my videos. They're a monthly subscription service that delivers snacks right to my front door every month and allows me to try all natural and some all organic snacks. And you can even get them in gluten free. I also love working with them because for every box sold at least a meal is donated to a food bank to help fight childhood hunger. I've actually found some of my most favorite all natural and organic snacks in these boxes and even when I don't have them all I'm able to share them so I take them everywhere from my office to home and to my family. They have different sizes like a smaller tasting box. This is the deluxe box which has 15 plus items in it as well as a gluten free box. They also send a lot of coupons so that you're able to save, especially if you like a lot of the snacks in the box. My favorite this month to pack and take along that I actually went out and bought more of is the Sahel snacks. And these were the pomegranate pistachios. So good. <laughs> so good. They even ship worldwide. And if you check the info section and use my link, you'll get your first deluxe box for only $12. So that's like less than a dollar per snack. So make sure you check out that link if you're interested and let me know if you already get the love with food boxes. Good morning. It is about 6.30. So I'm about to start my day. Y'all are gonna see how crazy, like especially during the week, my weeks are. This is the day that I go to where I teach, uh, to the university. It's about two hours. So I go there and I start my day off with a workout. And Bella, say hi. Hi, good morning. And on Tuesdays, I don't do as long of a workout. I do like 20, 25, 30 minutes, like I've told you guys before, and lift a little bit and then I get going. I just wanna give you all the run of my day, like a day in my life. What does that look like? It's barely even dawn. We're gonna go for a really I quick I said walk. this walk would be short, but it ended up being about 15 to 20 minutes. So I have to be a little bit flexible and move that extra lifting day to another day during the week. So y'all, I'm gonna say this without fail. Honestly, the best time to come in the gym is when no one is there. <laughs> absolutely quiet. I'm not gonna be in here that long, but I'm just gonna give y'all kind of a sneak peek at what I'm doing. Whenever I'm kind of low on time, but I wanna get a good workout in, I still try to make sure that I push myself to the limit. I start off first with some good walking and some sprinting. I'm just speeding it up here because of the timing, but I also sprint and then I move back into an uphill climb and then do it again. I go backwards and run and then do a little bit of walking on no incline. And then I just make sure that I keep pushing myself to the limit. And of course I get some screen time with my oh, iPad. I'm living my best life, yeah. Smile, smile, come on. In about 20 minutes time, I got in about two and a half miles. So that was pretty good as far as time. Ain't going back and forth with you. I'm living my best life. Smile, come on. So for the most part, my life is together. About to go ahead and hit my coffee, get the car together, and then I will head out. I have a few errands to run when I get to town. So my hope is that today goes as smoothly as possible. You know how that be. You know how that be. So. Y'all know I love my Yay Organics juices and my blender bottle, but today I'm just using my coconut milk powder and adding it to my coffee. It gives me a little bit of energy. It also adds like a creamy effect to your coffee. Of course, this link down below for y'all. Sipping my coffee right now. 
which I think I just burnt my mouth. I think I took too big of a sip. I'm not gonna eat anything. Um, you all know I'm pretty much an intermittent faster for the most part. So I'm not gonna eat anything too solid until I get to that. And then I will eat. This is kind of my reflection period. Gonna hop on that highway here in Houston, which y'all know. Ugh. But going away from the city ain't so bad. So I'll load up Bella. Bella getting her last little waters in. When I get to my second home, I usually break my fast before hitting canvas. So I have a little spinach, pineapple and mango, frozen, some acai berry and wheatgrass by Yay Organics. Mix that up real good with some cashew milk, the unsweetened kind that's only about 25 calories per Per cup mix that up real good and that gives you a nice healthy and nutritious start for your day i finally made it to my office i dropped off bella and i am happy because in the mail came my new license so i want to open it y'all should know my full government that's a long name right there but look y'all, I'm official. I'm licensed as a clinical psychologist and a school psychologist. Also, outside of Texas in the state of Louisiana now too, so. Yay! One second. I had some things with my sororas that they needed me to do. I come into the office and I'm actually eating, like dogging down my food right now. I meant to show y'all before I started eating, but this is my little vegan Greek pita, but warning, it is addictive. I love roasted chickpeas. So all you have to do is coat your pan real good with a little bit of olive oil and then pour a little olive oil over the chickpeas. This is just a regular can that I drained and dried the peas. And then I added a little bit of pepper, salt, paprika, and then I just mixed all of that together to coat those peas really good. And then I spread them around the plate, preheat the oven till about 400 to maybe 450 if you wanna heat them up fast, but about 20 to 25 minutes should get you there. Then I make a little bit of a sauce. This is a Greek sauce. I'm using plain non-dairy yogurt, a little dill, a little lemon, some cucumber, some garlic, some white wine vinegar, and I'm mixing that all together. You're just gonna wanna cut your cucumbers down as small as you would like them in your own sauce. I don't mind mine being a little bit chunky. And then I just mix all of those ingredients together. Once I do, I'm ready to spread those on the pita, add a little bit of green leaf lettuce the way that you want it. I add a little tomato, some red onion. Y'all, this is so good with the chickpeas. But if you're wanting to do it as a meal prep, option instead of with it already on the pita so it doesn't get soggy just cut your pita up and take it to go that's all i do today i normally only drink water but i love these kombuchas these master brew kombuchas so that's how i kind of keep the day like energetic also from this month's love with food box I got my Sahel snacks. These things are amazing. Do you hear me? All right, so I'll have a meeting and then I teach two, three hour doctoral level courses back to back. So yeah, the day is lit. Tuesdays go hard for you girl. What y'all don't know about me is when I'm not working out, I'm pretty lazy. <laughs> Energetic, but lazy. So I don't necessarily take the stairs. Plus I got this bag, so. I'm not trying to do it today. So we're gonna hit the elevator, head on up, get into this meeting. Oh, so far I've had a shake today um, and I've had that nice little brunch that y'all saw. And now in between um, my faculty meeting and class, I'm about to have some snacks from my love with food box. I like to have something in between that'll hold me over that has protein, that has a little bit of sugar, that gives me a lot of energy, especially if I'm gonna be working long. The time has come to head to class number one. Easy, especially if you're nervous when you first start doing assessments to just run through questions instead of 
really know what the meaning is, what you're trying to get them to answer. Usually by the end of class number one, I start to get hungry, so I run home to take Bella out and catch something to eat. So when it's time to eat, I like to have things that are already ready to just assemble, and I love these portobello and collard green wraps. They are amazing. I just take a little bit of olive oil, some cumin, a little bit of all-purpose seasoning, and then I make sure that my portobellas have the stems cut off, mix all of those things together along with a little bit of sriracha to make a little bit of a sauce to go on top of the mushrooms i let that sit on them for about 15 to 20 minutes and then i make one of my favorite things ever is some homemade guac and i just take about two avocados some red onions some tomato some lemon and lime I smash up those avocados, add in everything else and squeeze over some of that lemon and lime. And y'all, it is the best. I promise you, I still feel like I make the best guac. <laughs> and I put a little sea salt over that. Then I'm ready to brown those portobellas. So after they've sat with that based on them for about 15 to 20 minutes i just brown those up really nicely on both sides cut the stems off the collard green leaves and then i'm going to add just a little bit of the guac to them and chop those mushrooms up in slices it's almost like meat guys it's so meaty so it holds me over and it keeps me from getting hungry it's about 6 p.m so i'm good and ready to go to class again of course but have had to complete some social emotional behavioral questioning and interviews by home. So were there any other thoughts and things here? After my last class, it's pretty late when I go home. I'm usually not hungry after I've had the things that I've mentioned, plus I usually have a few snacks in between. And with me being an intermittent faster, I'm going back into my faster phase. So I'm gonna make sure I have a little tea with my ginger by Yay Organics. And then I usually go into my nightly routine with washing my face, brushing my teeth and flossing so I can get ready for my next day. It's time for Bella and I to lay it down. Yes. Right, Belle? Hey, Bella. She ain't feeling these little stairs. She's supposed to walk up, but she don't do it. Now it's time to peace out and go to bed so I can get the day started tomorrow. Of course, I'm gonna say my prayers before somebody felt some shade. It's a wrap, folks. It's a wrap. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope that this is giving you some of the healthy boosts that you need. Do not forget to leave me some comments about some things that you want to see coming up in these fall videos. Comment, share this video with someone who can use it, and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching, guys. A beautiful brown baby doll. Peace. Thanks so much for all the love and support over on my new website. If you haven't already, go ahead and check it out and join me for new ways to interact with me, giveaways and prizes, weekly emails, as well as my free eight day supernatural video course, which is free when you sign up.